with Alex and Paul to a carefully chosen location for the hit. It's a busy street, full of expensive boutiques and restaurants. Just the kind of place you might bump into a passerby with plenty of cash to spare. Talking on her phone as a decoy, Amelia takes up position outside one of the shops. I'm going to go and set up there. Great. Alex is going to act as her accomplice and select a suitable looking mark. Good luck. He positions himself at a table outside a nearby cafe. Paul does likewise. He'll be close enough to intervene if anything goes badly wrong. But otherwise, Amelia's on her own. This scam may sound simple, but it takes split-second timing and nerves of steel to pull off successfully. And although Amelia knows the script, this scenario is for real, so she must be ready to improvise. With the three of them in position, the only element missing now is a mark. Once Alex spots someone, Amelia will find out if she's got what it takes. Cue Amelia. Yeah, yeah, I will. Oh no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it when I get back to the office. I promise I will. No, I will, I said that I will. Oh, for <laughs> sakes, that's absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> oh my God, I'm gonna call you back. Oh my god, hell. Don't sound very well. Clearly upset, Amelia's already got the guy on the back foot. What was it? It was a vase that I just got from Harvey Nichols just now. I just got this from my boss for his wife's anniversary tonight. I didn't mean to, you know what I mean? I don't go around. No, no, it's like it's like partly my fault. I should have been <clears throat> more careful. I just don't know what to do. I feel such a gear, I feel really bad. Sorry, it's put you in your no, real no, position. She's got him hooked into believing the story. But it's not sympathy she's after, it's money. I haven't got any cash on me to get him. I get fired for this. How much did it cost? 60 quid. 60 quid. That's sick. Now she's established the amount, Amelia needs to go in for the kill. What am I going to do? Can you lend me the money and I'll get it back to you? I'll write down your address and everything. If you've got any money on you and I'll get it back to you. She's devised a convincing way to get the mark to cough up. What's your name? My name's Tony. Tony. She takes his name and number and promises to pay him back. I'll day. call you, I'll call you, I'll call you. Sure. 60 quid, right? Yeah. Thank you, I'm really, really grateful and I'll get it back to you. Okay. Thanks so much. Uh, get the same one and yeah. get it right back. Yeah, I'll get it right back to you. Right. Thank you. All right. right, thanks, Tony. She's done it. The Mark walks away 60 pounds worse off, but feeling he's done a good deed. But what about our hustler? It's horrible. I feel, 